We have a mm, couple, pretty couple, yeah, couple, couple of your messages. You want to read a couple? Yeah, Abdul Salam Jua from Bimbila says, uh, tell me, Roland and Mamavi, why are we making it an issue uh, with only the sports minister who, uh, who, apart from Mr. Rawlins in the NDC campaign launch, didn't say anything bad about the incorruptible Nana Ado. The NDC uh, from the president to the last person went to Cape Coast only to expose their lack of understanding uh, of the issues affecting Ghana. Abdul Salam Jua from Bimbila uh, sending that message. And I had to cut it, uh, you know, a bit shorter because it's quite long. This one says Nanado and his entire campaign team were sleeping badly when their vehicles uh, hmm, were on top of international uh, standard roads in western region. None of them did not realize that they, uh, they were driving along the best roads constructed by this government in western uh, part of Ghana. If uh, President Mahama attributed sleeping spree against them, I don't think he has made a mistake. And Haji Willie P in Efia Kuma. Very interesting the way the messages are crafted sometimes. Uh, this one says three policemen who were involved in uh, robbery yesterday at Esukese, a town in Afran Plain South District. They robbed a GCB car and killed a driver and injured one policeman who was in the car. Yeah, I heard about this story yesterday. Uh, this one says, the uh, good morning whether we're drifting Ghana, if the po uh, okay, I'm not sure I get this message. I'll take my time and read it and share uh, with all of you now. Let's turn our attention to the newspapers, Rona. Mm. Uh, and uh, before we start, though, you mm. know, um, this gentleman, uh, a veteran actor. Ah, yeah. Has it been confirmed? Because I have not talked about it because I don't okay. know. Okay. We'll confirm the story. I there are some rumors. I saw it on yeah. Facebook. I beg, don't say Facebook story here. Okay, this one, uh, please do daily graphic. Let me <laughs> Front page of the daily graphic. Together. These are confirmed stories. It's in the name of the graphic. Chief wanted for involvement in police recruitment scam. Nana Kofi uh, Aniko, wanted by the police. As pictures on the front page of the daily graphic newspaper. Ghana needs 300,000 jobs annually to resolve youth unemployment. 32-day uh, amnesty granted unlicensed uh, owners of small arms and there are lots of questions to ask and that's why uh, we're touching on this conversation later on this morning on my banner if you've got a gun and it's not registered how can you legalize it uh, what kind of small arms are they expecting people to put forward you know questions like that and what's happened to persons uh, that they've arrested in the past what kind of lessons uh, and why uh, have uh, uh, you know we've had other strategies Roland other strategies they've used bring the arms and get cash <coughs> you know why have they all failed why are we here today you know lots of questions so have we done that strategy in Ghana yes we've done the cash that level of arms for cash arms for cash yes we've done that uh, back page of the graphic uh, the this story on the amnesty for unlicensed weapon owners that story is also here but when they say amnesty what exactly do they mean you know, so we're going to break this issue down. But let me go to page two. This chief who is wanted, uh, and the graphic says that your mind hene of the uh, Kajaji traditional area, Nanakofi Anyiko, ha has been cited as the prime suspect in another fake security services recruitment. He's alleged to have located thousands of Ghana CDs from about 60 prospective recruits with the promise to secure them enlistment into the Ghana police service. Known in private life as Richard uh, Etu, Nana Nyeko is said to be playing hide and seek with the law enforcement agencies. Uh, since the matter was reported in March this year by a teacher, Mr. Kweku, a J. Uh, bar four. So you can uh, read details of this. There's a lot more to read uh, in the paper, the graphic newspaper of today. <coughs> Roland. Okay. So we have front page of the Daily Guide Mahama Japs Nana accuses him of sleeping, of sleeping uh, while on his tour. Spokesman, though, has fired back. And uh, we know it's about roads. Um, during the campaign period, um, the, Mahama, the Nana campaign, Nanado campaign also said uh, most of the communities have not had their roads constructed. And the Mahama campaign also says that, well, apparently he was sleeping because most of the roads he traveled on to many of those communities also were constructed by... Uh, the Mahama government. 
and the politics are uh, ongoing. It's, it's, it's the election year, so you get to see a lot of this back and forth. Uh, new twist to Munti Three Saga, Kumasi Robbers, gunned down, 24 arrested. And uh, those are the stories we have on the front page. Uh, center spread, we have uh, Muhammad Pippa, not NDC song, Shatawale. Uh, VVIP, Samini Miss VDM for Hacho Homowo. And um, we have other stories as well. Mm. All right, so the story that I was, uh, uh, I said I'll take my time and read. It's, uh, I, I like the fact that our viewers also give us the news. So Mike from our front plane, is the same one that somebody sent me. Uh, says Roland, yesterday two cops and a civilian attempted robbing a bullion van at a front plane. The driver was killed instantly and the escorted two cops police and uh, a civilian attempted robbing okay. a bullion van. Uh, the driver was killed instantly and the escorting police officer injured. The suspect have been arrested and two police officers are involved. And then Mike says the van was empty at the time of the attack. <laughs> so they were robbing nothing, really. <laughs> they were just robbing the van. They were gambling. But the sad news is that uh, somebody has been mm. killed and one mm. person That's unfortunate. Injured. Yeah, That's it should have been the robbers instead. Uh, let's do the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Man poses as Obinim swindles two women. Hang on, I'll tell you the details of this. Driver kills two children, mm, dumps bodies in hospital. We revealed this yesterday. Uh, I think the driver has turned himself in now because he ran away when the, thing, the incident happened. FDA rounds up fake olive oil sellers. Two robbers gunned down. That story also on the front page of the Times. Back page four battle uh, for top sports. Uh, that's the race to the top of the Ghana Premier League. It will be keenly contested today at two centres where the top four clubs will engage each other in fierce clashes as the competition reaches March Day 25. We know that Benedict will be here. He'll tell us a lot more about this. Uh, but let's go to page three. This story about Obinim impersonation. It said an unemployed man who allegedly posed as a founder of the International God's Way Church, Bishop Daniel Obinim, and defrauded two women of 8,000 Ghana CDs has been arrested. So Felix Tetefio was reported to have also had sexual intercourse with the women after swindling them. Mm. The Director of Operations of the Police Criminal Investigations Department, Chief Superintendent Felix Mausi, disclosed this to the Ghanaian Times in a cry yesterday. He said, between last year and this year, Tetefio met one of the women on Facebook and proposed love to her, which she declined. Uh, and the chief said after going through the Facebook wall of the woman, which revealed she worshipped at the International Goldsway Church, that a few created another account with the name of Bishop Obinim, the general of Asia, and requested to be a friend. The woman, not knowing it was that a few who was impersonating Bishop Obinim, accepted his friend request and they started chatting on Facebook. The fake Bishop Obinim then advised her to accept that a few's proposal and she obliged becoming his girlfriend in the belief that it was the spiritual direction from the man of God. <laughs> you want to hear more, Roland? <laughs> I want to hear. Okay, so this is it. The guy proposed to the lady on Facebook. She didn't accept. The guy is smart enough to go through her details to know that, oh, she worships at Bishop Obinion's church. So he decides to create another account uh, with... Bishop Obinim's name, and then decided to befriend the same lady, and the lady accepts. So he is talking as Obinim to the lady and saying that, oh, you know, accept the guy's proposal. You get what I mean? That's so smart. <laughs> so what happened in there? So she decides to do it. You get it? Because it's her, her pastor who is telling her that accepts Roland's proposal. Yeah, that's that's how you know he got his, he, he he had his way. It's a sad story, but I can't believe this can happen, really. <laughs> but yes, it happened. So this guy has been arrested. I don't know how he got the money. Okay, so subsequently he collected four thousand Ghana CDs uh, and a laptop valued at two thousand Ghana CDs from the woman on the pretext of marrying her. But if somebody wants to marry, why would you want to give the person four thousand and then your mm, laptop? Yeah. Uh, he said the suspect also had sexual intercourse with her. Thrice following the spiritual prophecy. According to the police, that a few used the same means to collect 4,000 Ghana CDs from a friend of the woman. 
Oh, Charlie. <laughs> okay. For once, I've, I've, I've kind of like finished reading the entire story. So it means that <laughs> we take things that our pastor say as... Uh, yeah! Who client can sink on. Yeah. The pastor says, dates the guy, so you also go ahead and you sleep with him. I see. And Very he takes your money and he says that he will marry you. You know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Shall I you to you can hear the prophecy. Oh. <laughs> God can speak to you. Front page of the Daily Dispatch newspaper. The dance has finally settled. We have 52% um, of NHIS registrants re-registered. Only, only 52 of them. We know that there's supposed to be a time that you can always walk in there. Mm. Uh, again, um, the father of uh, Ben Epson has passed on and the funeral will be on the 2nd of September. Uh, and then uh, at Rich and the burial is at 9 a.m. On Friday, no, Charlie. Yeah, we'll it off. Roland, it's you see the same f uh, prophecy thing that we're mm, talking about. Mm. There's also another story that says that five people have been arrested by the police for selling fake olive oil on the market. Mm. The suspects are in the custody of the police assisting in investigations. I mean, we've like olive oil has been our thing. Like we sprinkle it. Like people keep it in their bags because. Uh, one prophet or the other has prayed over it and it's like it's the answer to everything now people are even taking advantage of it and selling the fake olive oil in the system so so okay. there's they're selling, selling the prophecies they're selling normal cooking oil <laughs> yeah and then we go and buy it's olive oil they just brand it nicely Sorry. and then we take it to the uh, Friday all night, and the pastor will pray over it. One light. And instead of praying to I God imagine. yourself, you are sprinkling. Oh my God! Oil. You say it's olive oil. Everywhere you go, you think everybody is your enemy. So you, you know, you yes. Oil, we always say it's fried oil. I so should you are, shake you are one on your on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll do the last paper, you, the no. final Roland. Okay, so we have the find up. Uh, cracks in uh, northern the uh, region and DC youth group at loggerheads with regional executives two suspected robbers shot dead by Kumasi police 17 others arrested in a swoop and the story is on pay and two teenage uh, thieves they escaped death you know wanted to go the old, old vigilante way mm -hmm. Roland, mm -hmm. so you know, <laughs> uh, Akoto Razak in Tamil is asking if the story that I just read can happen to me. Chale <laughs> Masa. I, I, I don't know, I get so suspicious. I'm always alert. I, as for this one, I can't say that. No it way. It can't happen. No way, man. No prophecy. No way. Your prophet, your, your prophet <laughs> gives you a prophecy. You don't want to obey. No way. You would have. No way. You would have. Master, no way. Okay. Ah, how can the pastor say Mary Roland? And then me too, like, you know. Ah. When your pastor Is the pastor it. me? Well, that's no way. <laughs> uh, Kufuado didn't see good roads because he slept on the Western Region tour, Mahama Jobs. And we know that they're on the campaign trail. And the president uh, is also on a five-day tour of the Western region. Uh, next one. I just want to go home, says first Chibok schoolgirl rescued from Boko Haram. And government's 32-day small arms amnesty will fail, according to... Dr. Kwesienin. Mm, Dr. Kwesienin. Mm. We have um, previews of sports, independent presidential candidate promises to uh, review Ghana's foreign contracts. Good yeah. luck to him. I'm telling you. <laughs> you don't even have, uh, you won't even have the numbers don't in judge. parliament. Don't judge. He needs to have the numbers in parliament, Charlie. I just said Four years, not enough, for any, not, not enough for any president. And uh, he took a cue from President uh, Kufo's uh, uh, appeal for the revised uh, <laughs> Next story. <laughs> so to, they say even President Kufu has said it. I was listening to the audience. Ah, he's a smart man. What do you want him to do? <laughs> anyway, uh, Ashanti Region Police vow to smoke out armed robbers from hideouts. Now we have uh, government Klosak failed to reach agreement. And on that story, Roland, uh, somebody sends a WhatsApp. That's uh, Fushaini. Wulugu says uh, the labor minister earlier thought he was dealing with school children by talking to uh, roll call to be conducted. Hey, Charlie. <laughs>
All right. So thanks for that message. If you want to send us a message, 0560-800,000. Mm. We've got the BBC page, Roland. Uh, and it says, hey, you soldiers apparently left me in jail for uh, a racketeering scheme in Fuel in Somalia. Chale. It says, now Ugandan soldiers serving as peacekeepers in Somalia. Chale, they want to be fast. And uh, they've been jailed for running a few rackets. The African Union mission in the, in the country in Somalia says, and we have um, uh, shocking rape levels around SA mines. And Odisha retains Olympic 800 meter title in the world record time. He set his record, broke his record. <laughs> David Rudisha. Yeah. Charlie, um, pay, yeah. And apparently, you know, there's, uh, there was this uh, judoka, judoka match in which an Egyptian failed to um, shake in sportsmanship his Israeli opponent he fought with. Mm. And uh, he's now been sent home by organizers. Ah, yeah. The <laughs> he went with his teammates and he went home alone. Okay. I, I go, that's it. That's good for him. <laughs> because sports is supposed to be uh, a time to unite. Yeah. And if you, the sports person, you take it so on the geopolitical level, I think that's very much unfortunate. So those are the stories we'll be looking at. We'll look at a couple of your comments. Mm -hmm. And then we'll invite into the studio Benedict also to bring us the latest yeah. sports stories. I'll go from Agona is asking me a, a personal I'll go political back. I'll go, yeah. A personal political question. Uh, my vote is my secret, says, my which dear. Party will you vote for? Uh, will you vote for this government? I'll be surprised if you will, because Ghana is really hard. <laughs> but that's that's you. I won't tell you. Uh, we're not supposed to tell, uh, apparently, yeah. because that's we're here. We're you not don't supposed say. To. You don't say, man. This one says. Yeah. But I just like look to, into my uh, face. You know who I'll vote for. <laughs> Charlie, who then? Do this. Do this, Roland. <laughs> Uh, this one says, I'd like to applaud the aspiring uh, MP Joseph Donko at Hafuano South West for providing the people of uh, is it Huber with Boho, Efo Newton from Mankra. Uh, Mankra. So you're doing, you're doing, he's uh, doing uh, uh, campaign, campaign for the yeah. MP. Uh, and when I don't read Mankra, so is it in Hafuano North? Ah, well, that's because I know that's an NDC yeah. seat, I believe. Oh. Okay, this one says, uh, you guys are looking fantastic. Well, thank you. Uh, the nation Ghana is suffering, not only the NPP, so the NDC government should think of how to solve the problems that they have put on Ghanaians. Uh, mm? Okay, and then you're saying I shall catch your messages. Yeah, and I'm doing it again today, Shamsuddin, in Nigeria, because I see where you're going. Uh, but the, I guess I have voiced out the most important in the message. This one says, hey, Roland, how you talk sometimes making me believe you are an MPP member from Selassie Kaira. You open your eyes. So that's it. M He's MPP putting you there. I'm M sure somebody else will put you at NDC. MPP, MPP <laughs> members, they open their eyes. Eh? Maxwell, uh, my, uh, vote, my vote is my secret. Roland, you but called, I'm saying look into my face. Roland, you, know. you called for it. Maxwell is also putting you somewhere. Uh, this says what? I, I wouldn't say it. Okay. It's my personal decision. There's a final one, and then Benedict is from Kamal Dean and Tamale. Yes. Uh, Kamal Dean in Tamale says, uh, JJ has said it all, and victory is for NDC. Thanks, Kamal Dean, for that message. Uh, my message have not been read. Hey, Charlie. But you haven't said anything. You just said this is Felix. Uh, JM all the way. Okay, you. that's your message. Thank you very much. All right, you can comment on uh, some of the other stories uh, in the newspapers and what we will do this morning. Uh, are you an individual in, in a community? Do you have, do you keep a gun? Do you have a gun? Is it legal? As in, have you registered it? Do the authorities know that this is what you have? Uh, now there's an exercise going on where you can uh, give out all the guns that you have in your possession uh, that are illegal. Would you? If you have not for cash, well, uh, they say amnesty, so that's why we're going to ask all the questions. I mean, what do they mean when they say for amnesty? Amnesty means that you're having a legal possession, but don't to, uh -huh, because you see, you are possessing it. Illegal, if you have a gun, Roland, you. it's illegal. If you have a gun that you've not registered, or if you are out. illegally possessing a gun and they get you, that's 10 years imprisonment. Yeah, so would you give up? The illegal mm. gun that you have. What are some of the questions you want us to put forward for you? Sir? Okay. So, so as you send us, though, we have other conversations we're going to yeah. have. We had an interview with the 
uh, head of the finance department of the University of Ghana Business School, uh, Professor Bokpin, and uh, Godfrey Bokpin spoke to us. But in between, um, if you watch our live telecast of the NDC national campaign launch, a lot of people said a lot of things. Ministers, deputy ministers, even we have actors, even said musicians, even spoke. And one uh, minister, sports minister, Neil Ante Van der Poel, apparently said something in Ghana and said uh, he it was interpreted as being that if it does if you are short it doesn't matter whether you are short or not but he said he said it doesn't matter whether you are tall or short okay so don't even say it we're just going to cut what he said okay so we're he's going to, to be back. in the studio that's the bottom yeah. line <laughs> so okay. that we, we don't seem to be buyers or anyway yeah, but he's definitely. a good friend neil yeah. antivana he used yeah. to be my boss at gbc anyway very good roland there's a message for you just before we run off he says yes roland you're ndc jake from pram pram uh, oh, Roland, surrender the gun you have. <laughs> I think my dad has one, but I don't know about me. So, Jake, you to surrender the gun you have if you haven't registered it. Uh, stay on. We've got sports coming up right after this, and then we'll come back and do the gun and amnesty situation here on the show for you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.